What the hell is happening to everybody? How y'all doing? It doesn't look like that's it's that nice of a day, but it was like 59 fucking degrees today. And I'll tell you what, I was like, oh, I'm riding. <laughs> Screw all the footage that I had built up that I was gonna go through over the last like, oh my god, five or six rides. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna ride and I'm gonna make a vlog while doing it because I'm in such a great mood. I pulled off the best freaking wheelie I've ever freaking done. Freaking, freaking, freaking. And I didn't have my goddamn GoPro on. But some friends saw it, so that's all that matters. So I'll talk to them tomorrow and be like, how was it? Was it good? It looked good to me. I was so proud. <laughs> but, oh man, what is with this traffic? Oh yeah, it's five o'clock. What the hell, bruh? Oh, is it because there's three lanes of traffic here? So you were like, I'm gonna rush to the front. Oh, check out that old Mustang. That's the 5.0 series, ain't it? Looks like it. I think it's got the 5.0 on the side. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You crazy son of a bitches. That's how people get in the heart. Everybody speeds up like, oh my god, it's green. I've got to catch it while it's green. Oh, and look how many people are going to run it. One, two, three people. You fucking idiots. By the way, let's check this out. I see. <laughs> I haven't even owned it like three weeks yet. I have put 1,647 miles on solar. Isn't that crazy? And it's not even three weeks. Not even three weeks that I've put 1,600 miles on. Man, hopefully the audio sounds good because I also tried a new uh, dead cat or whatever it is. Put a little fluff over the, the speaker. Microphone. It's not a speaker. You get music from the speaker, you dumbass. You talk into a microphone. But, okay. Let's just skip this fucking light, because we're going to be here a minute, and I'm sure you guys, while enjoying this lovely amount of traffic, are just not entertained. Okay, so I don't even know if I should start talking again now, because it's just going to frickin' get all clusterfucky again. <sighs> this part of town is really annoying. I love it, because you can sometimes get open roads like that. Look at that long old stretch of nothing. That dude's trying to probably race up to the very front, cut in front of everybody. Ooh, what do we got here? Mustang? Yeah, well, I could beat a Mustang. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. Yes. Topics. Topic. 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 Marker. Topic. 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 What a topic. What a rah. What a brat. Yeah. Oh, was that almost an accident? Looks like it. Jeep about gave a little love tap to that other car. Mm, Mr. Mustang. Nice ride. Looks good. <laughs> He's like, oh, I want to race you. <laughs> Buddy, you govern it when I hit in third gear. I'm going to assume. I don't know. I don't even know what year that is. I just saw Mustang GT, so don't quote me. It's like smooth. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm wearing my my summer jacket. What the hell, people? Stop that. You stop just swerving around like a retard. It's not okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Summer jacket. Check it out. Yeah. Finally get to put this bad boy back on. I love it. And it's now like it's just nice and lightly breezy right now, even though I was sweating in it earlier because I was standing around talking to people. But oh man, I'm so happy to be in it. So happy. Man, with summer gloves. Well, slightly cold weather gloves. Audi. But slightly cold weather gloves and my summer jacket make this. Oh, look at that beautiful sun coming out to just perfectly glean off the beautiful solar hook. Oh, let's admire. Oh, yeah. She's nice. She's very nice. Like. Topic. Topic. That's what I was going to try and get onto here. It was a topic for you guys. And the topic is something that I went over before but it's, it's comfort in writing and you know like don't know your limits was the the name of that video let me work my my skills here and see if I can make it appear and pop so that video talks about knowing your limits and stuff and it's because I went on a ride with a group of other people that were a lot more skilled than me a lot faster red Tesla red Tesla it's a red Tesla Ah, I found one! I wasn't even looking! Ah. <laughs> the group that I was with it was a lot faster and rode a lot harder than I did. I'm talking full leathers, these guys are dragging knee and elbow, and they're just getting it. And I respect the people that have that skill. I, I didn't have that skill at the time. I still don't have that skill at the time. I'm not going to drop a knee because I wear jeans. Because I'm a noob. And... I wouldn't want to like hurt myself severely. A buddy of mine just went down on Bumblebee, his uh, black and yellow R1. Are you now speeding up? Really? Is that what you're doing? 
and move over to get around you and you sped up. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That, that's fine. Just go right on ahead. Yeah, go. No, go. You're good. Anyways. The, the group I went with told me when I caught up with them, they're like, you know, ride at your own pace, man. We're out here doing our own thing. You ride at your own pace. Even if you were with a group of people. And that's what I thought was really cool. And I still think this applies. And the, the ride that I was on, we ended up coming across a crash. Um, older guy went around a corner, was unexpected. It kind of like rises up and stuff. I, I talk about it in the video. Anyways, he passed away because of this corner. And it's, it's something that you should just like. So he passed away when he was around the corner. And I guess he just wasn't familiar with the road, but it's, it's knowing your limits. Like you shouldn't hit stuff hard all the time. And this is kind of a dual purpose because I want to you know, talk about that. Like, you don't push yourself beyond your normal limits, beyond what you know you can handle. That's, that's how people get hurt. And the other part of this is to talk about like, how do you, how do you ride? Because there's, there's plenty of times where I ride hard, man. I'm like, I'm just going as nuts. I, I'll just leave it at that. I push my, my, I push my bike and I just see what she could really go through. And I enjoy that, that's something I enjoy, but I still, while pushing my limits, try to maintain a level of control and understanding with the bike. Oh my God, really? I'm just gonna have to move right back to the bike over. Okay, let's just go right on over. And I think, you know, like a lot more people could benefit from that. The, the complication with it is, is knowing whether or not, like, can you handle it? So like, don't go hardcore into something you've never done before. And also don't be afraid to like test yourself a little. I'm not saying you need to like get on your bike and go carve a canyon up and get rid of your chicken wings, but just, just don't always be afraid to go a little bit harder. Okay. Like, I mean, take your time with it. Go practice in a lot. So just, just get out there and practice though, because you're not going to get better at riding at all unless you get out there and practice. So. That's, that's what I guess I'm just saying here is practice, but also know your limits and don't be afraid to just, just go a little above them. Just get a little, a little bit more in because that's how you're going to get better. That's how you're going to find out, oh my God, that's, that's what I need to do. You know, like that's what it can take. So that'll just be it for me. That's, that's it. I'm going to just keep on riding because I get all excited about it because I, I love meeting new riders and hearing their stories and things like that. And, you know, discussing with them my stories and just the whole hoopla, right? I love doing all that because it's a, a great learning experience. It really is. I just keep going back and forth in this traffic. Everybody's probably like, ha ha ha, look at you, you're impatient. I could lane split all of you, so fuck off. I'm being fun and enjoying it. Now, I'm gonna end on that note. <laughs> Me telling cages to fuck off and where to stick it. And you all take it easy, okay? So stay safe, get out there and practice, and Remember, if you don't ride, to keep an eye out for other riders, please. All right? Spring is here. Bikers are going to start being out all over the place. So just watch out for us, please. We, ha we ride. I ride, personally. I post this to my Instagram, a picture that, that perfectly hits it. I ride like I'm invisible to you because I am invisible to you. Okay? That's why I also I move around a lot in my videos, if you guys see me, is because... When you're not moving, when I sit right here, I can become invisible to somebody. Motion attracts the eye. So that's why you see me move around a lot, going back and forth in lanes and hugging the center lane right here so people in all their mirrors can see me. So anyways, look at this beautiful view. That's a great one to end on. Let's end on this, all right? So get out there, practice, don't kill yourselves, have fun, and everybody out there, ride safe. Okay? <laughs> Looks like I just I just missed this guy crashing. Yeah, no problem. You take a dive? Oh, no. Um, honestly, I was trying to jerk my scooter around this corner. No shit. <laughs> I was coming in a little bit too fast and I wasn't trying to slow down. But straight up, yeah, I guess I tried to drift. Oh man. <laughs> it only goes to like 40, you know, I was probably going 50 down this hill. You know, I, I did slow down a little bit. But...
Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, going down's never any fun, that's for sure. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you're all right, man. That's all. Yeah, no problem. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no joke. And at a somewhat busy intersection, at least you weren't on the highway getting on. <laughs> Yeah, you too. That's good, at least. That's the first step. <laughs> Riding on the sidewalk illegally. I hope I don't get caught, please. Oh, shit. It's a jump. Um. Oh, I was like, please don't be a curb. Please don't be a curb. All right, well, at least that dude's okay. Always check for somebody in distress. I wasn't sure. He looked like he was gimping. So I just wanted to stop, make sure he was okay. Oh, that was a yield for pedestrians. My bad. But the dude was saying it's his first time out on a scooter, and he was trying to drift it around a corner. You don't drift a scooter. Like, uh... <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh my god, he put all of his pieces that he broke off into, <laughs> into his little tank. Oh man, like, that made me wonder if he even had a license or anything like that. But, jeez. But I'd say, people, uh, that's, that's just what my vlog was about. That's just what I said, wasn't it? So this is not going to be a little longer because I had, that, had to add that to it, but that's a perfect example. Perfect example, people. Please do not be stupid when you go out and ride like drifting a scooter that goes up to 40 around a corner on a public street where there's that's a busy ass intersection <sighs> really way to go asshole well please people just be smart about what you're doing out there okay that's all i'm asking all right all the cops. Alright, I'm back out of here. <laughs> Take it easy. Peace. I want to